Welcome to the testing word. So previously we have seen how we can write test case. Also we have seen PyTest and how we can convert our test case into the PyTest format. Now I am coming to a very important topic. The name of the topic is Allure Reporting. So whenever we are going for any automation, at the end of automation execution, we want to generate reports so that we can check how many test cases are passed, failed, and if failed, we can analyze the reason of failure. We have many options to generate reporting, but the best option in the market is Allure Reporting. So first of all, we need to understand what do you mean by the Allure and how we can set up Allure. At the last, we will check how we can use Allure with Selenium and Python. So Allure is an open source framework designed to create test execution report. It's an open source framework, so we can use it without any licensing. And it is used to generate test execution report. Advantage is that it can be integrated with a diff different automation tool. So we can integrate with the Selenium, APM, JMeter. So a lot of options we are having by which integrate this tool with different automation tools. Here in Allure, a report can be generated in two steps. One, when we are going for the execution of test case, small library with the name adapter attached to the testing framework. Framework means if you are working with the Selenium with Python, so a small adapter will attach to our existing framework, which will generate XML formatted report at the end of the execution. Then in the second step, we can convert this XML file file to the HTML report. And this conversion from XML to HTML can be done by the command line tool or a plugin on the, for CI like Jenkins or a build tool. So I'll show you how we can convert into the HTML format as well. Advantage would be like we are going to get a single dashboard where we get all the information about the reporting. We are going to get different type of graphs. So that I'll show you in the coming session. Next and very important, if I'm going for the LU reporting, we need to go for setup. So what all the setup steps we are having? First of all, we know whenever we want to work on a Python, we need to install its module. So first of all, we need to install Allure module. So I'm just coming here and I'm writing like pip install pytest Allure adapter. So first of all, I'm installing adapter. We have seen we have two parts. One is adapter and other which is going to generate other is a command line tool which is going to convert XML to HTML. So here I'm installing adapter. I just click on enter. It's going to install adapter here. My spelling was mistake before. It's adapter T O R. So it's going to install PyTest adapter now. Once it will be done means step one will be over. Once it is done means adapter is installed successfully. How I can check it? Can I use it in my current project? Okay, go to your automation. That's my automation. And now go to file. And here we have the settings. In settings, we are going to get project interpreter. And if you check it here, does it shows Allure reporting? That is PyTest Allure adapter. So yes, in my current project, that is available. So we can use it. Now, so that's a step one we have done. Now moving to the document and we have installed Allure module. Next, we need to install command line tool. I'm moving to Google and I'm going to write and for that we have a website like HTTPS and that is docs.cumeta.io and there we have Allure 
and there hash underscore command line even you can search on the Google I'm just going directly to the site from where we can download the LU report LU reporting command line tool and here that's a command line tool we can download it for Windows so that's for Windows we can download I'm downloading it and that's a zip file just click on this so it's a exe file which is going to be downloaded okay let it download then I'll show you next step I'll just unzip that once unzipped move inside that folder inside the unzip folder then move till bin location copy the path of this location and we need to make it entry into the environment variables so I'm just going here my computers properties advanced system setting and then environment variable and here we have variable with the name path just add it go at the start paste that path and semicolon so the entry of this we have made the entry of this location into path environment variable I just click on the OK OK so now allure command line tool is downloaded and made entry in the environment variable so now step one is done where where we have set up all the things in next step or in next video I'll show you how we can generate reports using allure all the installation has been done so previously we have seen how we can set up allure environment for generating report for that we have seen we have to install a python module that is one and also we have seen how we can set up allure command line tool now I'll show you how we can generate allure reports because it's an integration with the pytest so we should have our test case in the pytest format so first of all I'm moving to my project and here that is a one test case which is already in the pytest format that is test fetch data we have some more test cases so I'm just converting them to the pytest format it will take some time I'm just doing that so test underscore first of all all the files name must be started with the test so I'm just going for test underscore and uh, then I'm going for keyboard operation again refactor test underscore and we have one more pending which is this so test underscore so now all the files are in the form of pytest now I'm going to the each and every file so that file is already in the form of pytest because we have created test method plus fixture I'm going to the second test case here I'm not going to write fixtures and all I'm just creating a test method so def test first case you can give any name I'm just giving the name first case and whatever we are having I'm putting it over here so my second file ready now I'm going to the third file def test underscore case underscore Firefox you can give any name to these methods I'm just giving the name by which we can easily understand what this test case is doing and that's the body of the test case so here I hope previously you have seen how we can use pytest so I'm using pytest here I'm writing the test case in the form of pytest now def test underscore my case and that seems that is going to be body of that and the last time coming def test underscore mouse operations and that is going to be the body of the test case so that's the body of the test case so now we have converted all the test case in the pytest format I'm going to execute that but before execution I just want to show you here I'm adding here we have one assertion which, which is going to fail so I have many test cases I have made few test cases which are going to be failed so at the end we'll get the complete report with the pass and the failed test case 
now we know that for execution we can go to the command prompt so I'm opening the terminal here we know that and pytest then we need to give where I want to generate report so what I'm doing I'm going to the project new directory I'm creating a directory with the name reports so that's my reports here I want to generate reports I need to write pytest hyphen hyphen allure dir means allure reporting directory so I just copy the path of the directory and paste it over here so we need to give first pytest then hyphen hyphen allure dir and the directory location where you want to generate report I'm just going to execute this so now many test cases we are having that are going to be execute and once it will execute at the end a report will be generated this will be the XML report previously we have seen step one is to generate XML report then we are going to use command line utility to convert that XML to the HTML okay one test case is done now it's moving to the second test case so second test case is executing then third the test case we have executed on the Firefox so it's starting the third test case that's the third test case which is executing now it's moving to the fourth test case so I'm just waiting for all the test case to be executed only after that I'll move to the next step where we are going to generate HTML report this execution is going to create XML report XML formatted report I'm just waiting for the complete execution to be done everything seems to be done I'm just moving to my project so here it shows four passed and one failed okay all the execution has been done and here is the result if you check it here in the reports you'll get these are the reports which are generated for the test cases so previously we have seen how we can generate allure report but it was in the XML format so I just want to show you here in my project here in the project that's the location where allure reports are generated but all these are in the XML format now I'll show you how we can convert this XML formatted report to the HTML report open command prompt so I'm just moving to the command prompt first of all move to that location where you want to generate HTML report I want to generate HTML report in the same folder so I just copy its path from the command prompt I'm moving to that location that's a step one now to generate HTML report we have a command like allure generate and now we need to give path where my XML reports are placed so XML reports are already placed on this location so I'm just giving the same path enter as we enter it's going to convert XML formatted report to the HTML reports so it will take some time to convert that I'm just waiting for this process to be complete report generated successfully if you go here so you will get a folder with the name allure report expand this you'll get a for file index.html I just copy its path now go to your browser I'm opening Firefox browser even you can go to the Chrome browser as well but in the latest version of the allure I found on Chrome we are getting some errors like it continuously showing loading and that's an error which is reporting to the allure so as of now we need to open that report on Firefox so I just go to the Firefox given the path enter as we enter it open report so here we have different tabs first it shows total five test case we are having and passing per percentage is 80 percent now each file is treated as a test suite so total five test suites having each test suite have one test case four test suites are passed one is filled in the same way we can go to the categories we can get suites information what's the reason of the failure it shows over here then suites then we can go to navigate to the different graphs so it shows total duration it took status severity so here we can check lot of things already generated 
and also shows like first test case executed this time then this the third fourth fifth so it shows all these test suites or test case executed behavior like these are the test case first is failed took that much of time packages so we have seen like here we are getting a lot of information about the reporting and it's a very detailed report we can go to the different menus and check different reporting options so here we have seen it is it has generated HTML report that's all we have for the session here we have seen how we can generate HTML report from XML thanks for watching this video